And we're at Mid Ohio Raceway for another excellent track day. Triumph 675 oh. 650E videos. She has graduated from novice to intermediate. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's your good buddy 650 Eve here and we're at Mid Ohio Raceway for another excellent track day. This will be my second track day after graduating from Yamaha Champions Riding School. And as you saw in the video, I got to ride a Yamaha R6 on the track that day. And now, I get to test ride my good buddy Burt's Triumph 675R on the track. Yeah, because I want to try to figure out which 600 cc motorcycle i'm gonna get this is my track bike for 2017. i already like the sound of this thing i'm a big guy as you know and this bike is uh instantly comfortable for me this bike is not stock you know you see he has a gpr dampener and different uh levers and stuff like that different clip ones even yep yeah but this will give me an idea on how the 675 performs on the track well i will tell you first off it has great great low end power and it tips over very nicely <laughs> it's got great mid-range typical 650E fashion and now we're approaching an RSV4 now we'll see if I can take him on a straightaway I shouldn't be able to breaking lighter longer into the corner nice and smooth love this 675r love it Breaking lighter longer. Yeah! Triumph 675 oh! Awesome, awesome trek bike. That was amazing. <laughs> that was the most fun I've had at Mid Ohio Raceway ever. And it was all done on the Triumph 675R. What an amazing, amazing motorcycle. Much more low and mid-range power than the Yamaha R6. Does not require as much neck ringing to extract the power from it. Delivers the power throughout the entire power band. I felt like I was on a 1,000cc motorcycle, but just smaller, more nimble, and more able to be in control. This bike and the Yamaha R6 are on my short list for the 2017 track bike. Maybe Berta let me take it out again. I loved it so much. 
hopefully he had a great time with my R1M and he'll just want to swap bikes permanently. <laughs> I wouldn't mind that too much. All right, so Bert, what did you think of the Yamaha R1M? I'll tell you what, <laughs> after riding a 600 for, I don't know, four years now, mm -hmm. I, it's, there's a lot of power there that I didn't have before. Wow. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I mean, the first time I came out of the keyhole, I wheelied. Yeah. And it's even got lift control on it. Yes, so it does. yeah. So it was awesome. Uh, I didn't push it to its potential because mm -hmm. I just so new on the bike. Yeah. And the throttle choppiness. Did you was, feel that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I it was much better to stay fast in the corner and leave some throttle on than to okay. roll off. Yeah. Because it's it's on and off. It is, man. It Which, is. Oh, I felt absolutely no throttle choppiness on this bike at all. It was totally smooth like ice. It handles, it dips into the corners very well. What tire pressure are you running? 35 hot. 35 so hot? 30, okay. 30 cold, and they warm up to 35. Yeah, because I noticed it, it just leans into the corner with, with basically no effort at all. The power delivery is completely linear on this motorcycle. Yeah. I mean, it's just, you get it all over the range. Yeah. The shift light is so cool. It's blown by me, so I felt, I, I figured you were really comfortable on the bike. Did you keep me, was I still in eyesight or? No. Okay. I got wow. stuck behind some sore riders and I was still, it took me the whole session to get used to the throttle, to try to figure out where I need to hold the throttle so that it doesn't, because that's, I know the bike's not gonna fall out from under me, yeah. but it just, when it rolls off and stops yeah. like that, as you're tipping in, it's, it's horrible, dude. You yeah, know? It should and be. people have been, you know, recognizing that in my videos for the longest time. It's not me with throttle control no. so much. It's no. the bike's choppy throttle, and it's. And, a, and you've ridden so many bikes, you know that. Yeah. You know that. That's. Yeah. It's, so yeah, for some reason Yamaha has that issue throughout their whole line. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it what the deal is, but a fuel controller may fix it. Okay. I don't know. I don't know yeah. what your plans are for this thing, but. I'm going to try to get that throttle choppiness fixed over the winter, and if they're unable to do it then it might go bye bye but I'm definitely getting either the Triumph 675R or the Yamaha R6 as my uh, as one of my track bikes well Ben we need another tour with the big camera okay you, you were right. I can do it myself all right so this is Ben's toy hauler totally totally awesome I mean look at this damn thing I mean it smells brand new it is brand new but it smells like a freaking custom home in here with real wood, real granite, you know? He's got a bed up there that he can pull down and sleeps two. And then there's another bed that he can fold out, sleeps two more. He's got a kitchen with fresh fruit. And this isn't fall fruit. This is real, real fruit, okay? Running water, <laughs> look at this damn thing. He's got a propane stove to cook on, a microwave somewhere around here yeah. refrigerator of course uh, yeah refrigerator full of stuff that I'm gonna confiscate flat screen TV to watch uh, music videos and 650e videos on he's got a nice bathroom here with one of the updated low-use water toilets of course a shower yeah and it unlocks and you can get in there but I don't know what's in there it could be a person in there right now I don't know 650 Ebs right there. And then we've got what looks to be a freaking pillow top. It is it is a pillow top. This guy is so spoiled. A closet. And uh, two more people can sleep back here. What an awesome, awesome toy hauler. Yeah. And then, if that weren't enough, don't want to let bumblebees in there. He's got a freaking fueling station. It's, um... Yeah, he can mount his flat screen out there. But look who's over here, Maria. What's, what's up? up? <laughs> what are you up to? Not much. About to go out. First time for the day. Wow. In what group? Intermediate. Wow. She has graduated from novice to intermediate. <laughs> Unreal. We'll see if I deserve the bump. I think you do, man. Yeah. So, uh, how are you liking the R6 that you got? I love it. Oh okay. my gosh, that that bike has a lot of power. So. Do you still ride Torch as well on the track? No. Okay. She's been retired from the track. Street yeah, use now. Yeah. I just take him to work and back. Oh, it's a him. Okay, cool. Or, I don't know, it. <laughs> or whatever. I don't know. Nice. Well, I'm going to try to follow you today if I can, if I can keep up with you uh, and try to get you on we'll film. See. Yeah. yeah. Wait, till I war wait till I warm up. Then, yeah, maybe maybe second session now. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We'll see what happens. Yeah. So, what do you do? The, the viewers have been asking for a long time, you know, what is your real job? What do you do? You're such an intriguing person. <laughs> I think they want to know. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm in the military, Air Force. So oh, wow. I'm an analyst, so data analyst, like an applied statistics. Nice. And what's your rank? Uh, first lieutenant. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. So are you going to make the military your career or? Who knows? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll see. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. Well, you also have a backup career here as being a track person here yeah. at Mid Ohio Raceway. So uh, not too much longer before we get back out on the track. Yeah, I'm going to go check my tire pressures now. So. <laughs> Sweet. Look at her. Checking tire pressure, <laughs> doing all sorts of cool stuff. We'll see you out there, Maria. All right. Yeah. Yep. She's on a Yamaha R6. Very good, very good. Not that I'm a freaking pro or anything, but she looks good from this perspective. Great lines. She's being trained by one of the instructors here. And he's doing a good job with her. <laughs> She's fearless. But this is where we part, Maria. Until next time. So we're having a fantastic time out here at Mid-Ohio Raceway here on September 5th, Labor Day. And I had an opportunity to ride my good buddy Bert's awesome Triumph 675R track bike and I absolutely loved it. And you can see from the footage that I had one of my best track sessions ever on this bike. So I just wanted to give it a quick walk around and show some of the items that he has installed on this beautiful, beautiful track machine. So today I have a special treat. I'm going to be able to do a track day comparison of three awesome motorcycles. I'm going to ride my R1M on the track for a hot lap and see how well I can do. Then I'm going to jump on uh, Bob's BMW HP4 and see how that performs. And then I'm going to jump on my good buddy Mohammed's RSV4RF. Now obviously I have those bikes but I didn't bring them out here today. So it's uh, very convenient that I'm able to jump on those bikes and give us a track day comparison. And, give you my opinion on which one of those bikes I prefer the best. Right now, I'm really digging the Triumph 675R. But uh, we'll see what happens when I jump on the other bikes. Looking forward to it. It's a beautiful day out here. The temperatures are in the 80s and everybody's having a great time. It's a pretty full session. In the intermediate group, there's over 30, 35 people out there. So there's a lot of bunched up traffic. I'm able to pass people, the slower riders. And I imagine that I used to be uh, considered one of the slower riders myself, but um, I think that I'm uh, moving slowly towards the ability to upgrade to the advanced group. It probably won't happen um, the remaining of this season, but certainly next season, and especially after I get my uh, either the R6 or the Triumph 675 track bike.
finish my track comparison video by riding my good buddy uh, Mohammed's RSV4 RF on the track here. session of the day. I'm back on my R1M. I thoroughly enjoyed what might be my very last track day of the 2016 riding season here at Mid-Ohio Raceway. I got to ride several motorcycles today from the awesome Triumph 675R that everybody has been telling me about over the years. This bike lived up to all of the hype. The power delivery was completely linear from the low mid to the top end. The shift light on the bike, awesome blue LED sequential shift light, totally awesome. Has a quick shifter, Brembo brakes, Olin suspension, the bike just dived over 
over in corners. It was phenomenal. I love the 675R. That might have been the most fun I've had out here at Middle Ohio Raceway in the last four years on the 675R. I also got a chance to ride the RSV4RF, the BMW HP4, and the R1M leader bikes on the track. And of those three bikes, my favorite is the Yamaha R1M. The way that it dives into corners, its brakes are exceptional. Um, and even though that bike does not have a Brembo braking system, the brakes are still awesome. So my favorite leader bike is the Yamaha R1M, and it will continue to be one of my track bikes. I'm also going to try to get in 2017 either a 675R or the new 2017 Yamaha R1M and make that a track bike. So I'll have two dedicated track bikes for the 2017 season and I'm very excited about that. If you like this video taken here at Mid Ohio Raceway in Lexington, Ohio, hit the like button, share it with people. New videos on my channel are uploaded every single week, sometimes twice a week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's awesome. Awesome content coming up. A lot of collaborations with other folks, interesting people, great content creators like myself on YouTube. You know what I'm going to say now. Stay tuned for more videos. And as always, thanks for viewing. From Mid-Ohio Raceway. Another one.